And in Mombasa, tension is high at Kiembeni area after a private developer and the police demolished houses for a section of the residents of Alantaso. And according to the residents, the 433-acre piece of land is their ancestral land. Our Francis Mtalaki is following the events there and joins us live. Mtalaki, so what's the way forward with this? Well, uh, the way forward uh, has to do with uh, solving this uh, problem that uh, has been here for quite uh, some time now. But the differences are escalating in terms of uh, uh, the one of the tycoon who uh, uh, we are told that uh, uh, claims ownership of this uh, 433 acre piece of land, as together with the residents are also claiming that this is their ancestral, ancestral land. And we understand that uh, the residents of this area did go to the court. I've been able to see a court order uh, that's stopping any uh, the, 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 this, uh, disappear, this uh, uh, disturbance from any quarters. And uh, with me is some of the residents of this area. Tunakuja tunavamiwa na polisi, hali ya kuwa hatueleweki, watoto wanakimbia, tunakimbia, inabidi sasa tunaenda kuomba omba mahali pa kukaa. Na tunamiaka mingi sana hapa mahali, zaidi ya miaka kumi sisi tuko hapa na watoto wetu. Angalia huu umri ambao niko nao mimi nimeolewa hapa, na nimeza watoto wangu hapa na watoto ambao wamaliza fonfon miwaza hapa. Lakini shida ni kwamba, kila tukika polisi hao, mwenye anasema ni kwake, hatuelewi ni vipi, ni kwa kwake kivipi sasa kila wakati sisi tunaka maisha ya hali ambayo haeleweki maisha ya utata ambao sisi yani hatujielewi kwa hivyo tungependa serikali ituangalie sisi wanyonge wa chini sisi wananchi wa chini venye tunapata shida na watoto wetu na wajukuu zetu sahi hatuna mahali pa kukaa tunahangaika tunateseka jana mlilala jana hatukulala tulisumbuliwa waume peke yake ndo wamelala sisi na watoto inabidi tukatafute mahali pa kuomba tuweke watoto kwa sababu ya baridi na hali yao ya afya waume wakae hapa sasa mzee labda tueleze wewe kwa majina yako alafu tuambie labda suluhu ni nini mimi kwa majina naitwa Kalenga Baya mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa na nimekaa hapa kwa miaka mingi sana fikiri kutoka hapa miaka yangu ambayo imefikia miaka ambayo inafikia naweza kuelezea kwamba hapa mahali ni lazima nidhibiti sasa hivi kutoka hivi nimetokea mwingine tumeambua ni anaitwa Mulji na sasa baada kwa tunasema kuna Mulji kumetoka mwingine ajita Yunus yeye na amekuja ametusumbua anasumbua tukijenga anatubomolea kwa sababu hizo sehemu zote unazoziona kule sehemu ni moja lakini yeye amebana anasema hii sehemu yake sababu anataka afanye maendeleo yake sasa katika maendeleo na sisi wakaaji wa hapa wa Pwani wa Kenya tuko hapa kwa nini tutakuja tusumbule na mtu kutoka India ama mtu kutoka Yemen kutoka Arab aje atusumbue kwa sababu sisi tulikuwa tumewanyonge kwa siku zote alafu kuna mtu mwingine ambaye anaitwa Iparanya huyu ambaye amesitaki upande tu tena majina lakini ningesema tu labda upande wa polisi nyinyi wanawasaidia upande wa polisi wamekuwa wakitusumbua sana kwa sababu tukiingia hapa Uwana amekuja na sisi tuko na court order ambayo ina regard kwamba wananchi wa huruhusu wa kwamba wakae mahali ambapo inasahili waishi. Lakini unaona kwamba polisi wamekuwa kitusumbua ili kusudi kwamba wanapewa kitu kidogo kidogo ili kufanya hiyo kazi kusudi ya kutunyanyasa sisi wanyonge. Sasa sisi wanyonge tutakaa wapi? Kama sisi wa Kenya, wa Pwani na ambao tuko hapa siku zote. Labda kwa mzee kidogo tu labda. Unapitia dhiki unapitia dhiki gani kuhusiana na masuala? Mimi kwa majina naitwa Jonathan Katana. Nimesha hapa muda mrefu sana. Tangu utoto wangu niko hapa. Na hata uhuru ukija mimi ni mmoja nilikuwa youth katika kupiga ya uhuru. Lakini sasa zile haki zote za uhuru wangu mimi sizipati. Kuna watu hapa ambao wanasema ardhini yao utakwaje ni yako wewe ukiwa hukai huku waka wengine waka ganjoni lakini hapa kiembeni ni kwako wewe ni kwako vipi sasa ambao ni kwao ni sisi na sisi tutaingia shamba hii kwa vyo vyote kwa sababu tuna uhuru huo na ni haki yetu sisi kuimiliki ardhi si haki ya mtu mwingine kama kwa kuna mwingine kwanza basi tuanze sisi lakini si mtu mwingine eh ni sawa Asante sana. Well, those are the sentiments of from uh, residents of Kimbeni who are affected uh, with this uh, uh, the land uh, issue, and they're saying that. Adam